And welcome again to Question Time. We're here again with the uh, the pastor of Reach Out, Dr. Steve Ryder. Good to see you, Steve. Good to be with you again, Raymond. Steve, I'm going to get straight into it today okay. because we've got um, a really good one uh, question that's come in, and it is something that's very relevant to the times at the moment. Okay. We have a question about the mark of the beast. So, okay. so with all, everything that's going on and the, the the things that seem to be speeding up in the world, people are saying to us, uh, we've we've had it more than once actually, mm -hmm. that the mark. Uh, what is this mark of the beast and, okay. and, and could we get some clarification around it? How is it? Is it here now? Or is it coming? You know, that sort of stuff. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. It, it actually comes from Revelations chapter uh, 13, hmm. where it really talks about an antichrist who rises up. Now remember, antichrist. So he's against Christ. Hmm. Now, this world is a mess. Yeah. All over this world today, there are problems. Mm. We see what's happening in America. And there's a move to try and unite people together. They're talking about one world governments. Mm. All the things the Bible has said hundreds of years ago. And, we, and, and one world religions? Yeah. Well, they want to do away with all religion, that one. But <laughs> that, that couldn't happen. <laughs> uh, but uh, the, the problem is that people now are thinking about it. What is this number? Mm. now? The Antichrist is someone who will rise up in Europe, in the European Union, mm -hmm. where there's several nations, right? And they're trying to create their own empire together. Things are changing, right? And uh, they make a deal with Israel, surprisingly enough, yeah. and uh, they go to help Israel. Mm. Now, there's wars on, rumors of wars, and we know right now that Israel has been very dependent on the USA. The USA backed him now. With all the trouble with the elections right now, we don't know whether we're here or there. Some people believe that uh, Trump will get back. Some don't believe that. They mm. think it's all a sham. Yeah. Well, this is all part of the mess we're in. Mm. Now, or, or the, heading towards that. Yeah, well, yeah. probably one of the reasons with Trump is he's an outspoken character. Mm. You know, not everybody likes the way he is. But he's done some good things. Yeah. And one of the good things he did, he made peace with Israel and he got other nations to join in and make a, a pact with them, which That's is good for Israel. Fantastic, yeah. And because uh, they've been alone and yeah. they are surrounded by enemies. Let's always remember that. Yeah, yeah. Now, so the system's going to evolve where it becomes a system of nations joining, amalgamating together, if you like. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Antichrist, he'll come forward in the future yeah. and it'll take over Europe and all the nations will unite there. Uh, the European nations, there's 10 major ones, but there'll be others joined to them. Mm. Now, when he does that, he makes a pact with Israel. Then the Antichrist is setting up a system too. And he's against the guy from there, but the Antichrist will probably come out of this European Union. Mm. All right, now mm. we see some things clearly now, we don't see all. So some parts speculation, but in general, we can see it yeah, all evolving. It, it's yeah. emerging is yeah, probably yeah. the best way. Yeah. And we can always find sometimes, well, we could be slightly out, but it's adding all that way. Oh, yeah, you can see Now, it. when this Antichrist figure starts, he takes a total control. Mm. In fact, he starts controlling most of this world. Mm. And it's very clear. Now, in that day, he says, I'm going to have my own system, mm. monetary system. Mm you will not be able to buy or sell without the mark of the beast. Mm. And he said, the mark of the beast will be in your right hand or your forehead, okay? Mm. Which means, what is this gonna be? Is this gonna be a tattoo? Mm. In the old days, people thought it must be a tattoo. Yeah. Now we have microchips and they've got such minute microchips yeah. today. You know, around the world, some people put them in their hand. In yeah. There. yeah, I've seen and, that. And Open their this, door or yeah, do every, something. Or, yeah, yeah, everything. Yeah. <laughs> but, he said you will not buy nor sell, you will not be able to get food or anything without this mark of the beast. Mm. Now, most Christian theology believes this mark of the beast will be introduced in a seven year period mm. of tribulation. Mm. Okay? Now, at that point, if you take that mark and you have it, God says you will never, ever go to heaven. Mm. Now, that's a serious statement, oh, serious. isn't it? Yeah. He said, with that, if you have that mark, you're finished. You know, there's been a lot of talk recently about currencies being changed or, yeah. or re, redoing yeah. currencies and, and maybe even 
having some kind of system that's yeah. implanted into people's Well, it makes system. sense in one way. Yeah. You think about it, mm. you know with money, mm. money counts. Yes. But if there's no money and you're using a system that's all transferred electronically through that mark or whatever that chip is, if it is a chip, yeah. probably would be a chip, a microchip, yeah. Yeah. Uh, at this stage anyhow, mm -hmm. uh, well, you can be illegal with money. Yeah. People confiscate money. They don't let their businesses relate to the tax office, everything. Hmm. That's human beings do that. But Imagine that, that stopped. That would rule that out, yeah. Well, yeah. a lot of thievery would stop, wouldn't it, too? Yeah, yeah. It, it would seem like a good thing to people. Yeah. Because uh, you can't cheat the system. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. So everything will be electronically transferred. So if you take this mark, mm -hmm. you're in trouble. Yeah. That is the mark of the beast, yes. which is, comes in in the tribulation period. Mm. Now, we're heading that way. Yes. I mean, you don't have to be a, a scientist to work that out. If, if you read the media, you see your television news, mm. things are moving. They've had experiments with people. There's many people got chips already. So you won't be able to buy or sell unless you have it. Yes. Oh, yeah. But the point is, mm. it will be a, if anybody's got one now, yes. that's not the mark of the beast. No. This is one that he will design and it'll be his system. Yes. And he, he wants the whole world to go through that system. Mm. So how do you avoid that? Well, death. Right. Now that sound, now listen to me because that's mm. a bit strong. I didn't know you were going to ask me that yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I hit you. If we're suddenly in the tribulation period, mm. right? Yeah. Now, there are some people who believe that Christians disappear from this world. God takes them, all right? Mm. Now, that's always been the promise. It started from John's gospel when Jesus was about to be crucified. He said to his disciples very clearly, the day will come mm. and I have to go. But when I go, I'm sending the Holy Spirit. Now, we've had the Holy Spirit come, mm -hmm. you know, and the church movement started, right? After Jesus died on that cross. A new, not the old system, the Jewish system, but a new covenant started mm. with better promises, mm. built on much better promises, where all of us partook in the system of God. Mm. We're all filled with the Spirit. We all have the Spirit of God, mm. I should mm. say, sealed. Mm. Uh, well, that system now is the one that's heading to a close because mm. it's only for 2,000 years. Mm. Well, that 2,000 years, Jesus died in AD 73. Okay? Yeah, that's right. when he died. Well, 2000 on to 73, uh, I mean 33. He died in 80, 33. 33, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, folks, it was 80, 33 yeah, yeah, yeah. when he died. Well, yeah. you put 2000 years on there, it's 2033. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If there's a tribulation period of seven years, you've got to take seven years off. Yeah. Whichever way you believe you go or not go. Oh, yeah, right, right, Understand? Right. That's well, that yeah. takes us back into, my goodness. So where we're headed, we're right there now, almost. It's two years off, yeah, yeah, two, three yeah, years yeah. off. Yeah. Now, I'm not sending days yeah you're not saying day or an hour i but get it but periods yeah time section yeah. we're in those periods now yeah right well we better think about it mm. now people listening to the news mm. watching what's happening in this world they can see there's a lot of confusion mm. it's not really famous to be a christian anymore mm. in fact some are saying that christians are the top of the list that are hated yeah right because they're stopping these free movements of god and bringing everybody together and you know, whichever way you want to see do, it. Do, doing what you want yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. And so people are doing the opposite. Mm. You know, it, well, there's some things I could say, but I don't want to say on this no, program that's good. right that's good. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, we're not here to spook people, but just no. let's be real. So where I was heading before, I'm sorry I threw that question on no, you. No, that's but fine. What, what I was saying is that there is a way to avoid that, that period, isn't there? Yeah, yes, yes. We believe. Well, yes, in yeah. that period, we believe that Christians, true Christians, yeah. every nation, I mean, there's different names given to it, but the real ones who believe Jesus died for them on the cross mm. and he changes you when you yes. repent and ask yeah. him in your life, you're born again, your spirit comes alive to God. It's been separated through original sin. That's the basis of Christianity. Mm. Okay, now the different formats and groups, you know, teach the Bible more than others, fundamentalists. But the thing is, the Bible is the word of God. So do we give them that opportunity now to... Well, we should, but yeah. before we do that, yeah, I mean, this is important they understand. Yes. In the not-too-distant future, mm. the systems are going to change, heading to one-world government. Yes. We can see the, the 
stages of that is happening now. Yeah. Okay. Now, how long it takes to get to that point, mm. but it can't be too long. Mm. The money system is almost ready to collapse. Yes. Deliberate, I believe. Yeah. Look at this virus we've just had. Nations are absolutely bankrupt. Yes. They're not going to get back on their feet overnight. What did they say? There's hyperinflation in all yeah, the, in many countries. Yeah, yeah. I just think, well, what if it comes on the scene and we'll literally say, well, look, we've got the answer. Yeah. We're going to start again. Yeah. We're giving you a new start. Yeah. You know, blah, blah, blah. Well, it would make sense to people. Hmm. They'd willingly accept it. And that's how this Antichrist comes in. Yeah. Now, in the Antichrist period, I believe true Christians are not here. We've been taken out. Right. Now, that's... That's a big fairy story to most people. They yeah, say, oh, yeah, if you come know, on, what are you saying? Yeah, 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 well, I'm saying what the Bible says. Right. Jesus said he would come back for his own and take them mm. back to the Father's place where he is. Then he brings us back one day after the tribulation period, which is only a seven-year period, all yeah. right? Yeah. Now, whether it's before, some people believe it's midpoint, some people believe it's at the end. Uh, I believe it's before. Yes. Because the Bible very clearly teaches he's not appointed us, that's the true Christians, mm. Right, hmm. to death. But surely that's to suffer. Wrath. Surely that's a good insurance policy to have anyway, just in case, isn't it? Like I'd be wanting to, I'd be wanting to have that. Or well, I do, most actually. Christians, you see, after a while, mm. uh, and you read the Bible, and you study, and you see what's happening in the world. It's like reading a newspaper. The Bible is mm. it tells you everything, mm. and it's something people don't understand. Oh well, you know, blah, 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 the Bible, the Bible has become 60% true of all prophecies in the past. Mm. 100%. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, surely the rest will come. Now, the rest will come quickly. Mm. And it's happening in our lifetime. Yeah. So when we talk about the mark of the beast, I believe we're out before it happens. But then those living will have the choice. You ask me the question, I have to mm. make this clear for the viewers. Yes. Yeah. How do they escape it? There's no escape. If you don't take that mark of the beast, you're the enemy. Mm. Now, some of you may escape and go to the hills. I don't know. But most people die. Very, it, it says they die. Right. In fact, if God didn't shorten that period of the seven years, there'd be nobody left on the earth. Mm. So that tells you. Two-thirds of the world's people die. That's a lot of people. Wow. But there's a way out. Get your life right with God. Receive Jesus, what he did on that cross. Now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you want to give them that opportunity? Well, today? I certainly would. Look, if you're listening to us, and we can certainly uh, help you if you want to inquire about things. But the main thing is to be born again. And to be born again, and don't see this, you know, or oh, what's this kind of doctrine? It's the Bible doctrine that Jesus taught. That's what it is. And he's talking about your spirit, which is separated from God, coming alive. Now, every human being, you're made of three parts. There's a soul, your mind, your thinking, the body you live in, that's your house, if you like. And there's the spirit. The spirit, because of sin, original sin, we're born into it, whether we like it or not, is dead to God. The only time God will hear your spirit is if you cry out for salvation. God, help me. Help me to become a, a new creation. My spirit renewed back into relationship with you. And it's a simple prayer. Now this prayer goes like this. You can say to yourself, say, Jesus, I recognize I'm a sinner. We all know that. You said that Jesus died on that cross for my sin. He became a human being like us, apart from he didn't have an earthly father. You're his father. But he had an earthly woman. So he was human. He lived like a human on this earth. But he lived perfectly. He didn't sin. He couldn't sin unless he wanted to. So it had to be a perfect sacrifice. Somebody had to pay the price. He paid the price on that cross at Calvary. He went there, terrible death, pierced for us, whipped for our healing. Father, I don't fully understand everything, but I want to believe now. Make me born again. Forgive all my sins. Jesus, come into my life. Make me born again. Thank you, Jesus, for dying for me. Now, Father, help me to understand what's happened. I believe your Holy Spirit now will quicken me, help me, lead me to good people that will help and show me the way. And I would suggest if you've never read a Bible, someone says, oh, yeah, I've read a Bible. Now, listen, I mean, read a Bible. 
start in John's Gospel where Jesus really explains through John about being born again. God bless you. Thanks again, Steve. That's fantastic. Steve, I've, I've been hearing a lot, you know, that I know you're wishing all the people at home a very Merry Christmas and, sure. and everything that's to come with that, but I've been hearing a lot about, you know, some others that are in need and some projects that you've got in mind that, mm -hmm. are, that are close to your heart at the moment with mm -hmm. Venezuela. I'd, I'd really love to hear a bit more about that and, and how the people at home could get involved, actually, in assisting yeah. us. Well, that would be great if people could get involved and help us because, uh, let me just give you the facts, for four years we've supplied breakfast and lunch for over 250 children and some of their parents. And where's this in? This is in Venezuela, in a very, very poor area where they live amongst the tips mm -hmm. and they were the poor of the poor. And, uh, you know, there's no wages over there anymore. People have died everywhere. Over two million people fled the country, tried to get out. Uh, it's a very sad situation, but we've kept alive the people in this area, especially the children. Now, when you see the pictures of the children, they look wonderful, well fed, two meals a day, and good meals. That's great. And this church has provided the funds for that. Not only that, I did many crusades there. Do you know we have seen 300,000 people accept Jesus Christ in Venezuela? That's incredible. I was the only one allowed in. See, Americans weren't allowed in. No. Australia's got a good name. Mm -hmm. I mean, one of the pictures we have, they put the Aussie flag up with the Venezuelan flag right. pointing to Australia. And I smile about it. But see, it's got nothing to do with politics. These people are human beings. They're lovely people, mm. like anywhere. Mm. They're not the government. They're not the ones in charge. They're just people trying to survive. And there's no work, no jobs. So we thought, hey, it would be a good idea not just to send money, but if we could, through our church, we asked people if they'd donate because land was so cheap. For about a thousand dollars once, we bought a hundred acres of land. That land today, because they've gone on the American system now, that's worth thousands of dollars. We bought 20 blocks of land on the cheap. For one year, we were able to do it. And then we started providing seed and they grow crops, wheat, all that stuff. And you see, that reproduces and reproduces. It's provided work for people where they got fed food, all right? And uh, we like to feed the children, obviously. And uh, we're looking, you know, for people to donate. I was gonna say, so tell me, how, how, can, how can the people that might be watching this that, that it's, mm. you know, touched their heart or they've actually yeah. felt, felt close to what you're doing, how can they assist us in this? Well, people can donate to the uh, information that's uh, appearing on the screen. Mm. Yeah. And I believe you're also, what was the other thing that you're doing? You're starting a... A crowdfunding. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. Yeah, right. And we're looking for 25000 to $30,000. That, that, what sort of things could they do with that? That would keep them going for several weeks. So and you, you might even give them Christmas presents, clothes. Everything. Help them with new needed. crops. And you see, you always need seed. Yes. For the crops. Yep. And they, you know, they get a few people working, yeah. but it's good to give them a couple of dollars here and there, yeah, yeah, which yeah. will go a long way for them as well as food. Mm. But the seed and the materials they need builds up, mm. you know, like we, we bought a truck for them so they can get around and move produce around when they get it. This could be the best Christmas for some of those kids ever. Oh, it? Many of these kids have never seen presents. Yeah. To get a feed is Christmas. <laughs> yeah. And so, look, it's, it's something in the heart of God mm. that God cares. When I first saw this school and the little kids, they were little skinny children, mm. a lot of them. I mean, they were just existing. And it got worse and worse over the years. And we were the only ones going into Venezuela. Mm. Nobody else would go in. Mm. So, you know, we, we built a relationship with the poor people. So, and we're here to help them. So this crowdfunding thing could be a really great thing. So we'll put all the details up for that. And also mm. we're going to run some, some different um, campaigns to, to keep looking out for that stuff yeah. because we're going to keep sort of... Yeah, well, let me just say this, and this is really important. People drop dead there. Mothers go into prostitution. Many of them have. They've cut their hair off to sell it to provide food for their children. Even the man that was the headmaster of this school, who, who takes care now of all these children, 
feeding them. Mm. Uh, you know, he, he adopted two extra children mm. that were just left alone. Mm. Things like that. I mean, we, it, it's tear jerking. Mm. But, you know, we've gone past the tears. Let's do something about it. Mm. Friends, as you listen today, you, you can be a miracle worker for God. You know, a few dollars here and a few dollars there from different people. Maybe you're in a financial position. You really want to bless and do something good for God. Make the lives of these children. Whatever money is, it'll go there and it'll spend time over weeks and even a few, uh, a month or so. And it'll do wonderful things for them. So we appreciate it. Just think about it and ask God what you can do. We really appreciate it. God bless you and uh, have a very Merry Christmas.